Hello and welcome to my e-lesson. I am your guru and in this video, I am going to tell you how you can know that in how many places a cell has been used as a reference. Let me give an example. So this is the cell that I am talking about, main cell. It has the value 2. Alright. Over here I have written number 1 and over here I have written result. So result is equal to number 1 multiplied by the main cell. So you get the answer 8, correct? Similarly, in sheet number 2, I have these numbers, number 1, number 2, number 3 and number 4. And their results are dependent on what is written over here. So this cell multiplied by this cell over here, which we call main cell, right? Same here. See, sheet 1, D5. Now, if you were to know, now, if you were to ask, Ki I want to know in which all cells or formulas has this cell been used. Correct? How would you know that? Well, very simple. I'll click over here. I'll go to formulas. Now, this can be done in any version of Excel. I am using Excel 2019, but this is available in any version. So, you click on the cell, go to formulas and go to dependence. So, show arrows that indicate which cells are affected by the value of the currently selected cell. Use control bracket to navigate to dependence of the selected cell. Alright, we will see that. So, I will click here, I will click on dependence. Now, it is showing me that this cell is dependent on this cell and it is showing me a icon of a worksheet. So what does that mean? So it means that it is linked to other sheets also. To check them, I will click on this black arrow. Okay. If I double click on it, it will show me where all this cell is linked to. Like if I go to this one, click go to. So this is where I am. See? Similarly, I will click over here and it has taken me here. This way you can very easily find that which cell has been referenced in other cells as formula. You want to remove this, you can remove this. Now we can do a reverse also. We can find which cells have been used to come to this result. Now we know that this cell has been multiplied by this cell. But if you did not know, then you can simply click on trace dependence. Sorry, trace precedence. So it will tell, okay, these two cells are used in deriving this value. I can remove the arrows. I will go to sheet 2 and I can again trace precedence. So it is showing that this cell has been used plus a cell has been used which is in some other sheet. So I'll click on this. It will t tell me, okay, this cell has been used. So I click OK and it will bring me here. Isn't this cool? So this way you can always tell which cells have been used to get a result. Now you can remove the arrows from here. You can remove precedent only arrows or dependent only arrows. That is totally up to you. Alright. Well. So this is how we use this option. I hope you like this video. See you in the next video.